Hi, my love, beautiful souls. This is Mystic Rules 1111. I'm back with True Bringing Darkness to Light. Please take a look. This reading does not fit for somebody else. Click the reading on first reading. Okay, guys, it's been a long Labor Day. Oh, happy Labor Day, guys. Happy Labor Day. It's Monday. Happy Labor Day. It's been a long day. You know, uh, today, instead of chilling and relaxing, I went out to my mom's property and mowed for four and a half hours. Push mow. Not riding mow. Push mow. My hands, so hopefully I can shuffle because my hands are really, look at, they're really red. See the blisters. I'm gonna probably blisters on my hands. So somebody's working really hard, okay? This is somebody's working really hard getting things done, okay? You could be getting a lot of things done. Uh, especially somebody may work with their hands too because I'm getting this. Somebody may work with their hands. I'm also looking at this and there could have been somebody who had fire or been burned, okay? Because it kind of looks like burns on their hands, okay? So somebody could have had um, burns on their hands from a job, okay? I'm here in workers' comp. Somebody got injured on a, a job when I look at my hands. But yeah, they're bright red. I, I'm i praying and hoping that there's no blisters tomorrow. There are numb still. Like I can still feel like the lawnmower vibrating, guys. If you guys, it was so long. It was so much. And I didn't even, I couldn't even finish it. I'm like, I can't do it. It's too long. It's too deep. It's, it's, it was, she has like three acres. And I probably only mowed half an acre. <laughs> Maybe not even that. Because all of her, she has all these trees too. But uh, a lot of cleaning up and stuff and work to do. But we've, done, we've accomplished a lot and stuff. So, yeah, luckily it was only 73, I had that sun, but then a little bit of breeze too, and we we're burning some stuff too, so that's why too, I just heard that, you know, burning um, some wood and paper out there while we're getting stuff done, so yeah, there could be, somebody could be, somebody could work with fire, somebody could work with their hands, somebody could be a construction worker, somebody could do, you know, uh, what's it called, not lumber, not, they could be a lumberjack, but it's not that, uh, what's it, Con not a contractor, um, woodworking somebody does work work working or a uh can't even think you guys when they cut trees down they they cut trees down they use chainsaws jigsaws all that kind of stuff you know um is it a lumberjack lumberman whatever okay i don't know but yeah okay so somebody's somebody's working hard okay somebody's a workaholic okay it's like the one day you get off like you you just keep working you keep busting your butt okay like, you don't give up. You don't give up. You're going to get what you need to get done, and you're going to get it done. And I'm hearing the rewards can be great, okay? And I just heard that for myself as well. I just heard the rewards can be great with all the work and everything um, that you're doing. You could also be, somebody also could be going through experience like me is like, you know, cleaning out a hoarder's house, uh, getting a property up for sale, or, you know, getting a property uh looked at. There could be a realtor, some here in real estate, agent, real estate, okay? So you could be going through something like me right now. Um, my mom was a hoarder. You could, somebody could be dealing with a hoarder. She was a hoarder. And I mean a hoarder. And we had dumpster after dumpster, um, rid of stuff and everything. And then a lot of the stuff we were able to burn, those, like, paper, stuff like that. The stuff that we can legally burn, you know what I mean? Um, my stepfather wanted to burn, like, a couch and entertainment center and all that stuff. When I'm like, no, we can't do that. We can't do that. We don't need the fire department out here. You know, there's no running water. So we had to make sure we had water out there just to take out. We, we had to have a small fire. It couldn't be big because we had to have, you know, we'd have, we had no water to put the fire out. You know what I mean? So we had a little small fire. Like, not real big at all. Um, Just burning little things at, at a time. So, yeah. Okay, let's kind of see what's going on here. Let's see what kind of energy that the collective has. That's a little bit of story time about me. But something could be significant for you, I too. Because like I said, I heard fire burning. Okay, you maybe you need to do a, a burn re or release of... My God, I can't even say the word. Writing a letter and release it. Burn, release. Why am I not able to say it right now? Not a release burn. It's where you write everything down that you want to release and you, you burn it, okay? I don't know why I'm unable to pronounce it right now and say it the right way, the ter right term or whatever. I don't know why, okay? Uh, just keep doing what you're doing. Work hard, okay? Work hard. Yeah, we have somebody that's working really hard here. King of Pentacles. This is somebody that is like, works a lot, okay? That provides. That gets the job done, too. They're making the money. Making the dome. Could be a father figure, too. It's going to really bother me why I cannot say what kind of letter that is when you write down things that you want to release. And then you burn it. There's a tr word for it. I can't. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. Okay. What's going on for the collective? What's going on here? 
what else? My hands. Yeah, yeah, I can feel the difference, you guys. So be patient with me, okay? The reading may be a little bit slower. The shuffle may be a little bit slower because my hands, you know, and that's the thing, too. That could be like the enemy trying to stop me from working with my hands. So the enemy could be trying to stop. If you've got burns on your hands or injuries on your hands and you use your hands for your job, that could be the enemy, okay? That could be spiritual warfare, a spiritual attack, okay? I probably shouldn't have been mowing as much today as I should have. But you know what? I go back and look at it, and today's Labor Day, you guys, and that's about labor. And I remember back in the day, like, the people that actually had to really use their hands all the time. I don't know why I'm bringing it up, but, you know, like, our ancestors did not have lawnmowers. You know what I mean? They didn't have lawnmowers. I don't even remember what they're called, but they how they mowed, you know? And they had to do more. And now people have riding lawnmowers, and they have the robot freaking mowers, you know? So... Be grateful for what we have, you guys, okay? It's just hard to be grateful for what we have because our ancestors didn't even have half the, the tools that we have now. We are able to get things done faster than what we used to be able to get done, okay? So we are blessed. Be blessed, okay? Be grateful for what you what you have, too, and what you, you um, the tools you have. Magician here, there's a partnership. You're manifesting a partnership. This could be a business partnership as well when I'm talking about work and stuff like that. You could be manifesting a business partnership. Or a beautiful, beautiful partnership, relationship, friendship. It could be a friendship too. Okay, I'm hearing a life partner. Life partners doesn't always have to be a husband, wife, 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 husband, husband. A life partner is where you, it could be a mother and daughter-in-law, okay? Or a father and a son-in-law or father-in-law and a daughter-in-law, okay? It could be something like that too. Um, or, you know, an aunt that you know aunt in law or something like that that is a life partner that you are gonna do time with okay for the rest of life kind of feels kind of good too when i've had the cards on my hands for some reason wow just keep getting redder and redder guys judgment wish fulfillment wishing as i said you're gonna be rewarded Okay, all the hard work you're doing, you're going to be rewarded. Because God sees all with his judgment right here. God sees all with his judgment. Okay. This could be awakening as well. This magician again. Manifesting. What's going on here? What am I the collective? Like it's collective, I need to know. Justice. Well, we have judgment and justice. So the ju judgment and justice. This is Libra. Strong Libra coming out here. Things being balanced out. I'm here for the greater good. Okay. People that, okay, so this judgment, this is for the greater good. Okay. Things being balanced out. God seeing all. Every single human being is under judgment right now. Me, you, my family, everybody's under judgment, okay? God sees all things are being balanced out, okay? There's been too much evil in this world. We got to bring ba back balance with the love, light, okay? Planning, prepping, collaborating. Yep, it's all about work. Page of Pentacles, this is work. Building something. Creating something. Somebody can paint, and there's the hands right there. I'm like, look at, look at this. They're painting an artist. Somebody goes backpacking. I don't know why. Backpacking, camping, hangman, letting go. You're making okay. The sacrifice you're making right now is going to turn to something beautiful when you get um, later on because this is a sacrifice too. So there's something you're sacrificing right now. So if it's your, it could be your time, your energy, your money. Okay, you could be putting investment, your money into something, okay? Like, if you, you know, if you want to build an empire, you have to invest, okay? You have to put money into it, okay? You just, you do, okay, to make money, okay? If you want to make money, you got to spend money, okay? I'm not saying spend all your money so you get money, but it, there's, you can't just not have money and not spend it. Um, You won't have any 
money coming in for you, okay? So you have to spend a little bit of money, okay? That's why you see a lot of business people, um, they're so successful because they do have to invest some money, especially with an entrepreneur. You are an entrepreneur, you could be an entrepreneur and be an entrepreneur, you have to invest something, okay? You have to put some kind of money in it, you have to sacrifice something. And that could be just long hours too, okay? Long hours. I'm gonna give you an example. If you think Trump, Trump got where he got because it was handed to him silver platter, no. He put long hours in, okay? Taylor Swift put long hours in. A long, long hours. Those celebrities put long hours in. Okay? It just doesn't happen overnight. Sometimes they get only one hour of sleep or half hour of sleep. Okay? Sometimes they may get two. You know, sometimes they may not even get any sleep. Okay? They get jet lag. Okay? So sometimes you may end up having to sleep a lot more because you missed out on sleep. Just remember, the sacrifice you're making is going to turn to something gold. I just heard gold. Beautiful. In the future. What else, Barrett? What's going on? I do feel like I relate to this message as well. Spirit's telling me this. I can relate to this. Okay, I'm part of the collective too. One more. Thank you. Okay, so something from your child, okay, or children, you could be building a legacy for your children, okay, so this sacrifice you're making is actually going to build something for your children, so you may not, so you may not, okay, so I'm hearing first millionaire, okay, in your family, first one to making six figures, okay, you may not see a lot of it, it may be years from now, but what you're building is going to be for your children, and your grandchildren, and your great-grandchildren, okay, it's going to be for them, okay, um, there is some kind of subconscious thing that's going on here. You may have something, you may not see it clearly yet. Okay. With this, you are going within. Okay. So you may not see the bigger picture, the full picture yet. Okay. But I'm here and keep moving forward. Okay. Also, there could be something that was keeping some kind of secret from you and you're over that secret. Okay. You have overcame these challenges. Okay. With this seven of wands here, there was a lot of challenges. You're overcoming all these challenges, all these burdens, everything that gets thrown at your way. You're overcoming them. Okay. You may you're not gonna have to fight as hard okay, anymore. Okay, Get, you're gonna fight, but not fight as hard. Okay, when you're going through your awakening, when you are going through a lot of uh, troubles and tribulations and all that stuff, trials, tribulations, um, you had to fight harder. You're not gonna have to fight as hard. Okay, especially when you had the Most High in your back and in, in your corner. Okay, God protecting your angels and ancestors. Okay, you're not gonna have to fight as much, but again, you're overcoming these challenges. And you're healing. Okay, so maybe you have to heal. Okay, recover from something. Rest. Okay, when you've been working so hard, there is resting as well. Okay, Spirit wants you to rest. What else, Spirit? The world, okay. The world is in, the world is in your um core. Or how do I say this? You're closing the cycles, but how's the word? Like, see something doesn't want to come out. You're creating the world around you, okay. You're creating the world around you, and it's a good place. But you're closing out cycles as well. That's not the word I was going to try. What I was trying to say. Okay, so yeah, okay. This is beautiful. This is this is a really good energy with reading. Okay, even if you've been betrayed and hurt and stuff, and you've been attacked, because somebody's been somebody you've been hurt. Okay, you have been hurt. Okay, and it's not just like injury. Okay, uh, been working so hard and it's just like you're like just need to relax, need to rest. I just want to have a day off, and it's like, but you're working hard because you know that the, all the work that you're gonna do is like it's gonna bring a big great reward. Okay, and you're gonna be able to not have to work as hard later on okay you're gonna be i'm hearing some about vacations taking time for yourself spending time with your family doing the things you love okay because you're gonna make that money okay that money's gonna come in we have a queen of pentacles that's a mother okay that's somebody that's very successful with the sun card okay enlightenment happiness joy peace bliss 
okay? Leo, Queen of Pentacles, successful. So successful businesswoman or man, okay? Entrepreneur, I'm looking at that too, and I see that was especially with the King of Wands, okay? This is very determined, okay? Um, fiery, somebody can, you can have someone has spiritual authority as well, okay? And you're manifesting with the manifest. A magician manifesting. It, it could be a king of, or a queen of pentacles and a king of pentacles. Queen of pentacles and a king of wands working together. Okay. So this could be you, a queen of pentacles, and you're working with the king of wands. Or it could be both. You could be in both of these energies as well. Okay. And there's a child here again, too. I just keep hearing you're building a legacy, you're building an empire for your children. Continue manifesting. Wow. Wow. Seriously. Seven pentacles on the bottom that's planting seeds. Planting seeds. I'm going to tell you that in a minute, okay? You are planting a lot of seeds, okay? And they're coming fruition. Give me more. Give me more. Give me another card, please. Thank you. Okay, so we have an emperor and higher fin here. It's Aries and a Taurus, okay? Yeah, this is a spiritual guru, educated. Um, also connected to source, connected to the spiritual realm, okay? Hi, I'm here in hierarchy. Emperor is a boss, is a leader, okay? Ha or a manager or a CEO, okay? Somebody of authority, Okay, like I said earlier, I heard spiritual guru as well. Um, you have a high spiritual ranking in the spiritual realm. Okay, but there is there was some kind of depression or like some hard times. Like this five of cups is depression, sad times. Okay, crying over spilled milk. Somebody could be crying over spilled milk. Let me hold on. Let me pull more. Let's see. What's this five of cups? Give me this five of cups. Give me this five of cups. Okay, so there was somebody that you're dealing with, okay, that was in a very, very dark spot. Um, it could be an energy vampire, too, when I get this five of cups. Because I got the ace of cups inverted, which is somebody that does not, doesn't have love, okay? Uh, something, somebody coming against you. Somebody's trying to keep you trapped, stuck, is what I'm getting, okay? They're trying to delay you, block you, okay? We do have the star, uh, star upright, which is Aquarius. Okay, that's also a star seed, uh, light worker, enlightened being as well, an influencer, role model. And Seven Swords, which is somebody that had some kind of secret agenda, um, trying to, um, does it look like burn you down? Hurt you? Hurt you. The Devil Capricorn and Eight of Cups moving on. So you're moving on from this energy. This could have been your energy in the past too. You could have felt trapped by the devil. Okay? This could have been your energy too. Okay? With this too. You were delayed. You were blocked in the past. Okay? You're cutting through this. You're, you're seeing this. Um, something about, you You know, you could, this could have been you didn't love yourself as well. Okay? Um, but now you're seeing who you truly are. Because with the recovery and healing from this five of cups here i'm feeling that was your energy it could have made you very depressed because someone was betraying you in the past okay they had some kind of secret agenda or attack and because you moved on you knew there's more to life okay there's gonna be no more delays okay there's gonna be no more delays Again, there's an Aries Taurus, or it could be an Aries Taurus, Leo, Libra, Taurus, yeah. They're trying to keep you stuck. They didn't want you to see this, okay? They were trying to keep you stuck. I know, we spilled milk.
but you're over it. You, you're over it, okay? You're not going to let anyone get to you anymore, okay? You're not going to let the devil bring you down. You're not going to let anybody take you down, okay? Whatever you're doing, you're doing. Continue doing. Three cup pencil came out again. Planning something. Prepping. I don't want to use these. I'm just right. I'm going to want to do those. Sorry, guys. I'm just going to. I'm trying to switch up the energy a little bit, guys. I need a little bit of energy to switch switched up. Oh, let's call me. Hold on. Okay, guys. Well, we had a call. And I had to... Luckily, it stayed paused this whole time. I've been gone for like 25 minutes because uh, I had to leave. Okay, what else going on here? Okay. Workaholic. Sacrificing for the greater good. Sacrificing. Again, I just keep hearing the sacrifices that you're making now is going to be for the greater good. For you, for the people around you. With that justice card coming out too, things balancing out, okay. What else going on here? What's going on? Essence. Creation partnered. The sex magic too so this could be just um connecting okay connecting i'm i have a higher level soulmate to divine counterparts okay to twin flame divine feminine divine masculine loyalty okay there's a partnership that's gonna be loyal okay this can be i heard the song on the way here too when i came back oh my gosh what is it oh my gosh i can't even think about it anymore um you guys are just gonna do something together oh my gosh what is that called uh, i heard it um you guys are going to rule the world together, okay? But not in a bad way. Not in a bad way, okay? Um, let's see. What? She had to go to work. I had to run her to work. They needed help tonight. Um, is it, is it this one? I don't know. It's just, I, I heard, like, you guys doing something together, boy, okay? Partnership. What? Go watch the movie, please. I'm not gonna be long. Be in your mouth. You got stitches, be careful. I'm so hungry. You can see it. You can see it. How can you mac and cheese? You love that stuff. Oh, there's no more. Well, I have to go to the store and buy more for you. I have to go to the store. One? No, there's no more. You only have one? You had only one left. You ate it all. What? Great divine. Okay? The great divine. The divine. There's a union here, okay? By the divine. Okay? By the most high. Okay? But there's loyal here. There's loyalty. Somebody, you guys could be having a baby too. I'm hearing a spiritual baby being born. Okay, I just heard spiritual being being born with the sex magic and this creation of partnered. Okay, um, bringing in fruition too, and like I said, manifesting. There's a spiritual baby, so that could be the sacrifices you're making now for the greater good. Like whatever you're doing, you're working. Maybe you put maybe you put you know your life on hold to have a baby and stuff like that. You you put your you put your work first, and now like your work is going well, you're successful, and now it's time for you to you know co-create and um procreate which is you know giving birth to a physical being you know a, a child okay to build that legacy so you can give that that success and that bring that give that success in the empire down to your children and your children's children connected okay you're connected you're highly connected to the spiritual realm highly connected to the spiritual realm there's no Nothing saying you're not, okay? I just, you're very highly connected. And your person is too, okay? This person is too. You and your person. It's highly connected. It's a spiritual connection, okay? No, we don't have my phone and my, I'm 
put it on the TV? I put it on the chair for you. It's on the chair. I put it on the chair for you. Go check. Go check the chair. A teacher. The ancient grandmother teacher. I am the teacher that leads with self-knowledge. You'll be teaching too. You and your person are working a lot. Okay, I'm hearing hard work. Okay, both hard workers. Both manifesting a beautiful life. Okay, the Amazon queen battle. I am a devoid of warrior of the universe. Okay. Okay, you're a warrior. The Amazon queen. A fighter. The shining star glow. I no longer dim my light. I shine bright for all to see. Mommy, I'm dropping out. You want this? You want that? You want everything? Just a minute. The cosmic enhantress. Witchcraft. I attract a steady flow of abundance. See, you attracting the steady flow of abundance. Okay, you're attracting the steady flow of abundance. There are people out there that are going to try to stop you, okay? There are going to be people that are going to try to stop you. The devil's going to try to stop you. But you got this, okay? And your person is loyal to you. There's somebody who's going to be truly loyal to you. Like, 100% loyal to you. And wants, is going to have your back, too. And it could be that life partner from the beginning, too. So this could, it may not even be... Because I was literally hearing, like, you and your person... Okay, and then another person as well. So like I said, a mother-in-law, father-in-law, a uncle-in-law, whatever, somebody close to you or another member. Okay, because I heard blending families um, could be helping too. It's about romance, love, soulmates, empathy. Manifesting argon argonthins, manifesting multidimensional perception and autonomous. Stars, you and both star seeds. You either or both have already been activated. Nephilim. Controversial assessing new perspective. So your person could be a Nephilim or come from Nephilims or your family. Okay. Nephilims are giants. Your ancestral DNA. Okay. It could have been a, a, a Nephilim. A giant. Somebody could be super tall. And then the bottom is Ar Arturians. Feeling safe, wisdom keeper, and concern. Both you guys have a lot of wisdom. Knowledge. What you know, this person doesn't. What they know, you don't. So coming together, bringing balance with the giant justice came. Remember, the justice came on this deck. Card two come came out earlier. Um, cheers. Make sure that goes down a little bit. So what you know, this person may not know. This person knows, you may not know. So bring good balance. Okay, that's what I'm hearing too. Is the yin and yang, divine feminine, masculine. Okay, the, the positive polarity and the negative polarity. So you could be a positive polarity, and they could be the negative polarity. Okay, in the relationship where it brings balance. It brings, you know, brings the light and dark together. Brings the positive and negative together. Brings balance. Okay, I'm guided to pull my astrology book out for this reading uh, quick because of the yin and yang. Let me see, I think it's in here. I was so grateful to the girl that gave it to me in general's. She brought this book to me and gave it to me. Um, okay, it's in here somewhere, I thought. Right here. Okay, something quick. Uh, uh, Spirit wants me to pull this out, okay? Okay, so... Each of the 12 zodiac signs is described as being either positive or negative in quality. Characteristics that are associated with these qualities are suggested opposite. It would be a mistake to assume that either quality is better than the other. Or to see one as wrong and the other right. Duality dividing the cosmos into opposing pairs is the first and most fundamental distinction that our minds make in every day, every, everything we do. Yes or no, happy or sad, full of empty giving or talk, taking. The list of pol polar opposites goes on and on. So you and your person are polar opposites as well, okay? Polar opposites, and that, maybe that's why if you haven't found your person yet, it's because you're looking in the wrong area, okay? You're looking at the wrong person because you're looking at for something that's uh, something that you're looking for and it's supposed to be the opposite, okay? This person wants to be the opposite of you, okay? There's similarities, but it's supposed to be opposite of you. It's important to remember that opposing pairs must be inter 
pertinent. Neither positive nor negative can exist alone because their terms are relative, just as there can be no light without dark, no silence without sound, and no male without female. Okay? Um, yin, yin and yang, the two opposing but complementary forces that interact internally throughout the universe. Broadly, yin is passive, so yin is passive female and nocturnal, while yang is active, male and bright. The Taja, also known as the yin-yang symbol, is a powerful representation of the interwoven opposites that symbolizes the cosmos as a dynamic balance of constant movement and change. Owing to our natural human insecurity, our temptation is to seek absolute answers, but Taoism teaches us that in doing so, we close the door to re real answers. Putting the pieces together will we will learn how to assess, combine, and synthesize the many elements of birth chart to make coherent whole. We will see that the, all people and events are combinations of many interpedent negative and positive elements. Everyone's attitude and reactions are different in uh, different situations. Sometimes we may naturally take charge at other times we prefer to be led. Okay? This is normal. Everyone is a mass contractions. The most hardened professional football player can break down into tears in victory or throw a temper tantrum on the pitch when facing defeat. The kindest mother will fight like a tigress to defend her offspring. That's why they told me to pull this out. Because we're talking about this right now. You are somebody that fights and protects and you're a warrior. Okay, the Emma's queen. So if somebody comes at you, you're going to protect. If there's a child involved, you're going to protect. And a man, your person may break down because he can be very emotional because he loves you, cares about your, or even a child. Say your person, your child got hurt. He broke down. He may have cried because it really hurts him that his child got hurt. Honoring the contrary polarities that exist within all of us clarifies that it pacifies any anxieties about sexual identity. Some men can be feminine, some or all of the time. Some women are masculine in nature. Most of us are characterized by both qualities. This needs not to be a crisis to struggle with, but rather experience a variety that makes our life richer and wiser and sets us free to be all that we are. Okay? Right here. Signs. There are six negative signs. So if you're wondering what it is, negative signs is Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Pisces. Okay? Um... So the positive ones are Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. You and your person both can be negative, and both of you guys can be positive. Because I'm going to tell you this right here: me and my person are both negative. Okay, I'm not going to give our signs out, but we are both negative. Okay, so we're both negative, but still, okay. There's those like the things. There's triple. So significant there. And look at I do have the yin yang too, you guys. Yin yang, balance it out. Okay, be able to balance out. Okay, I'm just gonna close this up because I didn't want this really to be really, really long. I hope this really helped. So just remember whatever sacrifices you're making. I know I've said that a hundred times here because it's it I'm just trying to drill it in because somebody needs to understand that, okay? Because you've been working really hard. Okay. And even if you've been working really hard at your shadow work, your inner healing, um, you know, letting go of your past, that's that's work, okay? Doing shadow work, that's work. If anyone tells you that, okay, if anyone ever tells you that um, you by meditating, praying, well, going, exercising, walking, going to the gym, you know, taking time for yourself in self-healing and like doing your shadow work and healing and tells you it's not work, ignore them. Okay, ignore them because that is work. Shadow work is one of the hardest things you possibly can do in going through an ego death and going through a spiritual awakening and dropping your ego. I'm Because ego deaths are like, whew, and a dark night of soul. You guys, I've experienced it all. I went through a spiritual awakening, an ego death, a uh, kundalini awakening, a spiritual awakening, okay? I've done my shadow work. I've done my inner healing, and all that is pain, more painful. Like, it's 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 hard, okay? It's hard, hard work, but you'll get through it, okay? You will get through it. It may take some time, but you will get through it. They don't want you to think you can, but you can, okay? Kingfisher. Prosperity is following or prosperity is flow, flowing. Have faith that you will receive it in a perfect form. In a perfect form. Let's see. As I said, I'm using different cards because I want to get some kind of different energy out.
family and tribe. You're finding a family and tribe. Coming together with them. Okay. You're being guided. They're being guided. You're going to be closer with your family and tribe, your spiritual family, than your own bl blood family, okay? They're manifesting. Manifesting love. And creating boundaries, okay? Make sure you create boundaries, okay? And love's coming in, okay? So manifest came out earlier. Love and boundaries. Create those boundaries, okay, for yourself and for others as well, okay? And inspiration. You're being inspired to do things, okay, that you never thought you would be capable of doing is what I'm hearing. Isis, who she's a powerful queen, okay, of magic and uh, fertility and blessings, okay? She helps women in childbirth, okay? Um, she was a twin flame as well. Okay, I'm going to grab the card because that significant for you guys. It's not long, guys. It's not long. I am attuned to the cycles of life. The ancient Egyptian goddess of healing and magic, Isis, is known. See, healing and magic. Isis is known as the great mother and the protector of her, the dead. Her priestess were healers and midwives, and she was originally disappeared wearing a headdress that represented the throne. Eventually, her crown changed to that of a cow horn surrounding a solar disc, which emphasized her maternal role and divinity. Isis is related closely to the cycles of life and can teach you how to live in rhythm with them. While the cycles of life include the flow of life and death, there are also the cycles of the moon and the changing of the seasons. Living with these natural shifts can help you re realign your body and connect you with the nature in a deeper way. Eating foods that are in season, rising with the sun, and using dim light or night. Using dim light or night are only a few ways that you can get in touch with your instinctive patterns. How can I include syncing with the natural cycles into my routine? That's a beautiful picture of her. She's a twin flame of Osiris as well. And she was actually searching for Osiris when so uh, Set killed him and scattered him all around, okay? She searched wide and far for him and then she got pregnant by him and then had Horus. Okay? You guys can go and do the research. I did the research. I did the, you know history all that about it okay you guys can if you if you want to you can go do that clear quartz okay somebody needs to work with clear quartz this will amplify all your crystals too and your chakras let yourself feel all your emotions your entire rainbow spectrum of feeling is sending you important messages and guidance Emperor Aries coming out again, and we have Gemini, which is twins. Okay, versatile, social, and curious. And Virgo on the bottom. Okay, Virgo is Empress as well. Supportive, reliable, and meticulous. Meticulous. Eighteen. New opportunities. Keep positive thoughts. Two, 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 two. That's big manifestations. Okay, that's manifestation, manifest, manifestation, manifestation. Reaching important milestone. Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius, Cancer, and number eight. I love you guys. Love, peace, light, and namaste.